Hello and welcome to my channel Gold Deco. Today I am showing you lookup transformation in IICS or Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. This is going to be a connected lookup transformation. So let's dive in. So I have a mapping, I have a source, I have a target. And let's say in this target, I wanted to load one more field called location ID. So I need to get my new location ID. You can see there are already two lookups on this in this mapping, and I want to add one more lookup. So how do you do that? Let's look at it. So you add your lookup transformation here. Just watch all the steps carefully, or you can repeat in the video uh, if you like. Add the lookup transformation, and I added this link from this expression to here. Now I'm going to rename my select on this transformation and then you can rename it once that is done then you go to incoming fields and this is one important step here when you go to incoming fields you only want only one field based on that you want to do this lookup so i want to remove every other field which is coming from this expression so I don't need all those fields just for my lookup. So the way you do that, you go to all fields, drop down. Sometimes it's tricky. Um, if that doesn't work, just save it. I think that's why it's behaving a little weird. Now if you go. Okay, so here under incoming fields, you choose named fields and then you hit on this rename button it's not really renamed and then you go to rule details there that's where you will select the field which you which you want to use for your lookup so in this case i only need to use hub seu select that so that will be the only field which is incoming for me now we also need to select our lookup object like what is where am i going to get my lookup from so i have already have a connection i will directly go there to that connection and select my mapping um, and select my object in this case it's a sql server there is the table and you can use whatever strategies you want in this case i'm using on multiple matches return any row usually that's the best you go to return fields that's also important so in return fields you wanted to only leave those fields which you want to return and also based on which you are going to join or look up by matching to the source data so in this case i'm matching hub su which is coming from source to service small unit number which is so i'll select all fields and i will only leave those fields which i want to take out so i want to actually return this field take out that's the location id and i want to match on or look up on based on this field okay so i leave these two and i'm going to delete everything else say so yes so here you will leave you're left with only two fields okay all sounds good so far then you go to lookup condition you match add your lookup condition so you're matching on this field and the incoming field is this because you already selected that here right so now save so that's how you actually create lookup but there is one more thing which you need to take care when you create the lookup and i will show you that okay now it's saved so now you need to move this link to the next transformation so you start from that very triangle here and you add it to your next transformation i keep saving things that's how your mapping works best and also you don't lose out on any work so now you go to this transformation and that's one caveat which you need to remember so you go to incoming fields and you will see that it shows 
that you need to resolve some field name conflicts because some of the fields which are coming from here may be also coming from source or also from other lookups. So there are some uh, conflicts and it's very easy to resolve those conflicts. So click here. In, in this case, you see in the location ID, it says none. So what you do is you just say prefix and you prefix them with lookup underscore or whatever you want to prefix it with. So ID and you hit OK. Oh, not the ID actually. I could have just said location underscore because it's coming from location. So that doesn't matter. So now if you go back to your target and you feel mapping, you will see that there are some fields which are coming from your new location. So here's those. I mean, I didn't name it properly. I should have named it at like lookup underscore lkp underscore location underscore that's where i want to leave it but i added an id by mistake so ignore that and then you can just add your location to your location here and that's how you create connected lookup transformation and you run it your id will be added loaded so thanks for watching my video and i'll see you in my next video bye now